Why Acton? Why Acton? Oh, mm -hmm. brilliant question. Um, I'm a brilliant well, person. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it all started from when I was quite young. I watched a few actors and the very first movie that I could remember watching was mm -hmm. Cocktail. Oh right, it's Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> that self-indulgent, um, yeah. There yeah. we are. And it turned out that I just thought of it and I thought, this guy looks pretty awesome. I mean, he's just up there and there was one specific point, thing that he'd done and it was when he was on top of the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was actually giving that bartender a poem. Yeah. I just thought that was brilliant. The way he just <laughs> rhymed and I thought that was spectacular. Yeah. And I made a, a small decision then. I wasn't, it wasn't permanent, so I didn't think of it as, I'm definitely going to be an actor. Mm -hmm. But it was a thing where it put into my brain that, ooh, acting seems like something I can actually get into. Mm -hmm. Because it takes you out of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I find that brilliant. Mm -hmm. Right, well, um, you, you might sort of like feel a little bit of prickliness in my voice today, you know, and I'm sorry about that. I really apologise, but I had a bit of a rough sort of half hour leading up to meeting you today. Because I went to... Um, the pound shop and I got a couple of bits and bobs you know for like for this you know for this recording bought a couple of little things you know one pound cheap underwear I mean like, <laughs> no, no, red no no I just said, <laughs> no he just said no no but like I got a couple of things for us and um, lo and behold I left it on the bloody train so uh, yeah exactly so never mind that's just the way it is I, I you know I can be such a jerk sometimes I, I remember once years ago I went to uh, camping with my dad and we travelled 200 miles to the campsite and I forgot to pack the tent. Brilliant. So oh, where yeah. did you sleep? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We turned and drove all the way back home. <laughs> so, Tony, yeah. you need to lift the spirits of this thing that lies before you now. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about when acting got started for you. What, what kind of early things did you get up to? Okay, brilliant. Uh, acting actually got started for me, well, it was with my stepbrother and my cousins mm -hmm. and a few family and friends. We were doing some a small sort of commercial where okay. there was a basketball player. Right. And it was like a sort of comedic thing where the basketball player would be saying, come to our gym. Right. Yeah? And he'll be doing it in a way of, oh, he doesn't have to do it, he's useless. And I was playing the part of worthless. So like, I'll basically be this person that doesn't know anything about basketball. And this person that is really a useless teacher is mm. trying to teach me about basketball. Mm. And it was quite funny to play. I, pretty, I really enjoyed it. Hey, tell us a little bit about this little video that's on YouTube. Um, it's the video that I was exactly talking about now. Mm. It's a video of a basketball player. And basically all he's doing is just promoting his gym. Mm -hmm. And all we have to do in that um, place was just uh, we had to just go with the um, we had to just go with the flow because the guy would ask us questions such as mm -hmm. do you know how to do this do you know how to do that we would say no we can't do it without you Ricky and yeah. <laughs> we'll come into this big thing where he would come the camera will start spinning right and then it'll just he'll use his hand to just put it in the net and how old were you then I was around 15 and you said that this video doesn't have any sound it doesn't have no sound. <laughs> So you basically got to, you got to use your imagination what the text is. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's what they did in the silent movie. <laughs> um, your last name, pronounce it for me. Have to make... Adi Goke. Now tell me what's the origins of that name. Tell me, what, tell me a little bit about your family background. Well, it all start, it started from my dad. I mean, it's my father's name. Mm -hmm. he, he was born in Ghana, but mm -hmm. he is from Nigeria. Right, gotcha. And Adi Goke actually means crown. Crown? So, yeah. Oh, it's right. In, like, crown placed on your head yeah that's yeah what my father keeps on telling me that i'm a prince so. now i get where the posture comes from and the, yeah. the, the, the confidence you can you because you do come across as a very confident guy no the way you present yourself the way you dress and everything no you know you make me feel like a tramp <laughs> <laughs> well that's not hard yeah, to do <laughs> <laughs> education do you know what that siren is really really winding me up i don't know where london just london right um sorry uh, tell me, education in the performing arts. Education in the performing arts. Um, well, <coughs> apart from law, there hasn't been that much that I've done. But mm -hmm. Law has been like the key thing, and it has actually opened things for me. And it's this is the me, London Actors Workshop. There we are, and it's made me actually really more interested into acting than I already was, mm -hmm. which I thought couldn't really be possible <laughs> because mm -hmm. I really saw it as something that I want to make as my career. Mm -hmm. So law actually just made it. Perfect. Just really the class that the class that you just did on Sunday, yeah. 
um, was with Valerie Colgan. Tell us a little bit about that one because that was quite an intense part, wasn't it? That was quite. Did you take? Did did the class have kind of like a subliminal effect on you in the sense that you took a lot away from it rather than absorbing it at the time of the class? Was there things you thought about later on? Yeah. yeah. There was a lot of things. Yeah, I thought that would be the answer. <laughs> exactly. No, no. But t tell us what tell us what you got from it and how how that class was structured. How, how, how was that whole? That, that class, it was actually brilliant because I wasn't, I didn't really know what to expect because I haven't seen Valerie before. Mm -hmm. And when, when I actually went to the class and she was giving me a small introduction, like she gave me a small interview mm -hmm. and she was just getting to know us a bit. So I thought we were just going to be doing that to each other. Mm -hmm. But then she told us to say something personal about ourselves mm -hmm. that we haven't actually said to anyone else before. And yeah. It really, it made me feel vulnerable at the time. Mm -hmm. But... After a while, I actually thought that I can actually improve my acting skills. Mm. And that's basically what she done for me, is she actually made me be able to come to that emotional state where I need to be to actually make me suitable for the role that I'm going to play. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really love that, that lesson. I have to thank Valerie for it as well. Mm. Was there a few tears in the class, amongst others? I, I was about to cry. Really? <laughs> I really was about to cry, yeah. Mm -hmm. But there was quite a bit of tears. Yeah, because it's, it's amazing. Everyone's got stories. Mm. It's part of being human, isn't it? You know, wouldn't want to start on mine. We'd be going well over the top of the interview. <laughs> Recorded conversation. Um, dream role. Ooh. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, that's a brilliant question. Um, well, my dream role will probably. I thought about this quite a bit, so um, it will be like I've thought of two. Where there's one where I'm playing alongside Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. And there's another where I'm Denzel Washington's son, mm -hmm. where he was a sort of police officer that went through a lot in his life. And his wife got killed, but lucky enough there was a son that came from it. And he and his son decided to become a police officer as well. But he wasn't doing it as right as his father would want him to. Mm -hmm. And it just spirals from there. Mm -hmm. You never know that might happen one day. I hope so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Um, Stage or TV and film? What appeals to you more? Um, I've always thought about doing movies. Mm -hmm. I mean, t TV would be a great substitute. I mean, TV is just something you know everyone watches, and it's something that could actually put you out there. Mm -hmm. It is something that I sh could go into TV, mm -hmm. but movies is probably my key. Mm -hmm. It's probably the thing that I really, really want to go for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd love to just go to Hollywood and just be in a movie. Is that why you asked me earlier about can you can you go around the world or whatever? You can take this. Have you That's thought about exactly. that? Yeah, I've thought about it. <clears throat> I think about it constantly, actually. Really? Yeah. Well, sort of like just just going to Los Angeles or something. Yeah, we're going to LA, just being there and being auditioning for parts. I'll just it'll just actually make me happy to just go to LA and audition for parts. Would you be prepared to work? Oh yeah. Yeah. Because that's what you'd have to do, wouldn't you, really? You know, and until you've got to have a job, I guess. You know, it's just one of, unless you're somebody who's stinking rich and got like a massive family back, backing, and you know, they, you know, they give you what you want. Not there yet. <laughs> okay. Now, what would be the pinnacle for you in an acting career or performing arts career? What, what would be the ultimate for you? Well, the ultimate for mm -hmm. me um, would actually be just being on stage, really, just there. I mean being on TV and just them talking about me like how they talk about other A-list celebrities, mm -hmm. which it would be fantastic. I mean, it's not necessarily me wanting to be really famous, mm -hmm. but it's me just wanting to be acknowledged as an actor. I mean, mm -hmm. that is just what would make me really happy, just for people to know that, yeah, he can act and he really loves this, he has a passion for it. That would just it would make me happy to just be acknowledged for and to receive an Oscar. So. Making a living? Yeah. Yeah? Just sort of like, and when you said to me that you were you were talking about just going straight into film, would the scripts and scraps of TV and bits and bobs of extras appeal to you as well? Um, yeah. In yeah. the sense of getting contacts. Of course. Of you know, course. in the sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so definitely. just and grab what you can. Start. Yeah. Start. Okay. Right then. Interests outside the performing arts. Sorry, dear viewer, if you hear the the. the this like paper blowing, it's because we've got a bit of a wind and I'm hoping it doesn't interfere too much with this um, recording. But um, yeah, no, sorry, sorry Tony. Um, interests outside the performing arts. Interests outside the performing arts. Um, I've got quite, I've got uh, many interests. Um, hmm. quite couple a couple that are up there. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, well, my key interest is sports, really. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy tennis, football, and various other sports, really. I'd, anything that I can play, mm. I would enjoy. Mm-hmm. Also, I kind of have a key for like computer games, video games. Okay. Talk about the sports first, and then um, we can go into computer games. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> mm, no, definitely. Um, it's your this, show. Yeah, there we are. Well, the sports, I uh, usually play um, football once in a while with my cousins and family. Right. Which is every Sunday, really. Mm-hmm. But I can't do it now because I have um, jobs. You do, you do know, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But um, we, used to, we used to do it every Sunday. My key place was defence, which I was a left back. Mm-hmm. Which my family always was happy whenever I was around because I'll be the only one that would actually want to play left back mm-hmm. and would be just driven to just actually do my job in the left back so I'll mm-hmm. be committed mm-hmm. and that was fantastic mm-hmm. and tennis my cousin introduced me to it okay I, I saw it on the TV and I wasn't really interested was that Wimbledon yeah, Wimbledon. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I used to say and I'm like I can't really see how people enjoy it yeah but then I actually got a tennis racket I got the little shorts the tiny little blue shorts um, I've got a string vest. I'm, try- I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get the vision out of my head, but yeah, go on. Like, tight little and shorts and a string vest. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm not the only one. And then, go carry on. <laughs> yeah, go on, go on, go on. And then I went to, um, it was in Beckton, and we went, we went to play a couple of rounds. I mean, a few other people joined in, and we had doubles, which was fantastic. Mm-hmm. My cousin told me my key game is my serve, but I mm-hmm. can't do anything else. Mm-hmm. But my serve is pretty good, that's what he told me. Mm-hmm. Tell me, just going back to the football, who, who, was there any particular team that you follow? Um, the team that I support is Arsenal. It's fine, yeah. No, no, no. Well, I'm, I'm quite connected with Arsenal's ladies, you know. Yeah, but that, that's something that's in my kind of interest, so, you know. But no, you got into the Champions League, which is sore off Tottenham. There we are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's right. And tell me, tell us a little bit about, uh, you're quite, when you say, like, are you a computer game geek? Um, I wouldn't say geek, yeah. but uh, I do play computer games quite a bit. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I branch out on any computer game really. I don't really stick to one. Mm-hmm. I just play them all, but I never complete them. So, so you wouldn't be, you weren't one of those people that was like queuing up at twelve o'clock at night outside game. Oh no no. Like the shop, was it the shop game? Is that what they call it? Or something um, like that. So there's yeah, some there kind of shop yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's where apparently I heard people like used to like a lot of the real computer nuts used to sort of camp outside and then you just uh, you know it's just one of those things for when i don't know when medal of not medal of honor you can see that medal of honor that's years old or like you know i've forgotten which names they are call of duty and things like that yeah tell me your top five most favorite computer games to date in 2013 call of duty black ops 2 is there yeah Um, I like Super Mario. I mean, I've always liked Super Mario, which is Double Dash or any sort of Mario games. Mm-hmm. I really like Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. I like Five rather than the new latest one that's out. Mm-hmm. Um, I also have a keen interest for fighting games such as Dragon Ball Z and Naruto, which is a bit weird, but I do mm-hmm. like them. And probably my favourite game to play is probably a game that just came out, is, which is Injustice. Injustice, yeah. really? Yeah. How much do these things cost? They're quite pricey. They're really? Like, yeah, they're like forty pounds. I remember playing FIFA '97 on PS2 on PlayStation One <laughs> on one. No, but I, I just never really got my head around. And you know, they, they're good. And when I was working at the music studio, we, we used to play FIFA 203 or 202, whatever it was. It was the one with Dennis Bergkamp on the front. But it was that one, whatever, whatever year that was. But no, you know, we, I, I, I do enjoy it. But they're so pricey, man. Yeah. Yeah. They're expensive. Those those days they were about forty quid. These days, more. So expensive. Really? Are you looking? You'd be paying like up to hundred quid for a game. Yeah, it depends on what sort of bundle you get, really, because you can get like some sort of elite pack, mm-hmm. and you'll get quite a lot of stuff. But it'll be like one seventy and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. it's quite pricey. Yeah. What does acting do for you, Tony? What does acting do for me? Well, acting actually just gets me out of. Who I, who I actually am, which I just love. I mean, you get to play so many different roles and get to be so many different people, which I just find fantastic. I mean, you come out of your actual shell, which I do like, I do enjoy. I mean, the few roles that I've had, which is the worthless role, <laughs> and a few times where I've been practicing at um, London um, Law, 
it's just been fantastic. I mean, the people you meet, the way you get to behave, you don't get to behave like this in normal society, so mm -hmm. it's something that I'm really enjoying. Speaking of law, just quickly, have you, have you been given your showcase piece yet? Um, I have indeed. You have? I have been given my showcase piece. Right, okay. No, because it's quite interesting, because this could be an opportunity for us to give the plug, couldn't it? So if you could take that, and I'll flip the camera around. So can you see where it is? Do you want to just show like the front bit? Just hold, just bring it close to the lens. Can you see it on the camera there? Oh yeah. And then if you flip it round, and then that, that's the location, isn't it? Yeah. So is that on the screen, is that fully on the screen? Cool, lovely. Now that's like, that's the little um, location of when the showcase is gonna be. So anyone that's looking at this, they're, they're, now they know. <laughs> exactly. exactly, right then. Okay, right, I've lost my little book. FTQ. You're back in focus, aren't you? Okay. Other than acting, yep. what pre what profession would you like to try? Mm. Well, if it's not acting, it'll be something just really ambitious, just something right up there, like the CEO a pilot, of a major company. <laughs> there was a joke there, but sorry, <laughs> no, no, you missed that one. <laughs> 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 when you're out in public. What person's actions really annoy you Ooh. when you're in public places? What is it that people do that really gets on your nerves? There's so many things. I mean, the key thing that has actually annoyed me, and that's just, it's been this week. I mean, most people find it quite silly for it to annoy me, but it's when I'm trying to get somewhere and there's thousands of pigeons in my way because people keep on feeding them. <laughs> so like, where about is this? <laughs> I'm trying to walk and like people are just feeding pigeons and I'm like oh, not these pigeons again and sometimes I just have to stop and just like just tap my foot on the ground so the pigeon just moving like <laughs> favourite takeaway favourite takeaway oof I love Italian food what's your favourite it has to be pizza really which is fantastic you could just put anything on top of it and just put it in the oven it's <laughs> fantastic if you weren't called Tony yep what name would you have liked to have been called Theodore. Why? Theodore. I've always thought of it as like such a nice, respectable name, just Theodore. I mean, it sounds brilliant. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Favourite sound? Favourite sound. Um, it's just when people just clap. <laughs> clap, really? Just right. Noise. Preferably you're on the stage when it happens. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite sound. Right. Well, the wind is really picking up now, isn't it? It seems to be picking up a little bit. I ho hopefully, uh, my dear viewer, it hasn't really interfered too much with the, the chat because it's been awesome. But what I'm going to do is, it's almost been a year since I've, I've been doing this now. 26th of June, I believe it is, when I was with Emma, Emma Wicks. And we were in um, Waterloo, uh, St. Thomas's Hospital. And one thing that I want to do now is I want to introduce a new part of it which is going to be called, well, of new part of an actor's introduction, which is going to be called Our Location. So therefore, we've just had the background of you, of where you are. But I think it's nice. What I might do is I might actually just take off. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the camera off the bit, and we're just going to have a little look, a little look around about where we are, because we're in Hyde Park at the moment in London. As you can see, it's a really, really beautiful day. And the wind is getting quite strong now. But um, yeah, so you know. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Don Corleone off the Godfather. Right, okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. Right then. Uh, back in focus. Good luck. Oh, well, oh there's, your, there's your lucky 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 lucky. Listen, Tony, you've been a fantastic guest. Thanks ever so much for coming on. And um, good luck with the showcase at Law. And may great worlds come your way. Thank you.